Okay. You probably need to let me go around a couple of times before you bring that onto the field. wider than the actual field itself, which will give us more grass than we need for the contract. Uh, tree. wider than the field, so that's hopefully a good thing. Bouncy, bouncy bits. For a low power mower setup, this mower is quite quite a good working width on it. I'd normally go for a single front, but obviously I can't use it on the Valtra A because we don't have a front linkage. What's 10,000 going to do for us? That's going to put us up to 45,000. At the moment I'm trying to pay off the debt. Although I'm thinking once we've got this done, I might just get the horses. We're kind of a day late on that. If you're going to do horses, you probably want to do them from the start because we've already lost one day and obviously it takes 10 days to get them up to maximum sell price Fanny has many dolls problem is she has the habit of talking people when they're sleeping or shaking them to make sure that they're awake before she starts talking to you. Now she doesn't have school tomorrow, the six-year-old does, so it's kind of important the six-year-old gets some sleep at almost ten o'clock at night. come around the next time you can probably start following me around
So if you pull forwards, unfold it, lower it and turn it on. What you want to do is try to keep the left hand side as close to the edge of the grass as possible. I kind of did it this way round because I thought you might be bored with all the bailing you did yesterday. Oh, you have to lower it. There you go. Now if it's turned on, it should make a heap of grass behind you. Which is easier to bail. Kind of like the harvester does with the straw. That well, yeah, that was her elder sister. There you go. Nice big pile of green stuff behind you. That is, that's the problem with this uh, mower, is it doesn't windrow. So, uh, you kind of have to you have to have a windrow, whereas on some mowers it's fine. That's okay. As long as we have a row, it makes the bailing easier. Because obviously, normally, if you bale, if you bale a field like this, you would have to drive over the baler over every single inch of it. With that big windmill behind you, you're pulling all the grass into a single row, so the baler has less of a job to go. Well. The field's not exactly straight, so... this I pretty much drive round and round in circles. Now the other one's still up. That looks like you're doing okay.
it stick the uh, cruise control on, then it won't be so blaring on my feet. I don't care enough. This is a big field. The problem is, is it costs a lot too, so uh, we won't be coming down here for a while. Wondering with all the grass we're doing, it might be worth getting the crone big M. When we can afford it. Oh, you can turn your lights on. Uh, F. If you press it once, it puts on your standard headlights. If you press it twice, it puts on your work lights at the back. If you press it a third time, it puts high beams work lights on on the front. And if you press it a fourth time, it turns them off. So long as most of the field is road, we can uh, get the patches with the baler as we go. Question on the uh, Giants forum this week for uh, seasons, because my understanding is seasons. Obviously, the bales take longer to brew when they're wrapped. Uh, they'll take the same time as a silo does, and there's also going to be a delay in making hay. So you'll have to cut the grass and then leave it and then ted it and potentially leave it some more and then bale it or collect it in order to get hay. Now that's going to be a problem for contracts I think. If you consider what we're doing here, we're going to cut the grass, we're going to wrap it within a couple of hours, and then ideally I want to be selling it immediately and finishing the contract. And if I have to wait three days before I can do that, I've got to keep the contract open for three days. Which means I can't do any other contracts while I'm waiting for a baling contract, and in theory the same would be true of hay, um, you know, because you have to leave it on the field 
to dry out. You're going to have to keep the contract open until you've made the hay, and the, the hay is not an instantaneous production like other contracts are going to be. So it's going to kind of make all of the baling contracts pretty much a risky business to do with uh, with seasons. Or you're going to have to make sure that you've got a ton of silage bales up front. Go down to the field, mow it, make silage bales out of it, sell yours to fulfill the contract and have the ones you just pulled off the field brewing to replace the ones you have to sell to complete the contract. This is a glorious map. Lots of trees. I should buy this area just for the forestry. I may actually have to start take it off cruise control now. Okay. Okay. Well, the rows are definitely looking okay. Just hope we've got enough grass here. Something I found very risky on uh, Ravenport, especially multiplayer. There were times we were hunting for scraps of grass to bail up so that we could uh, complete the contract. I think I cut this one wide enough that we should have sufficient grass on the field to complete this.
demo two cars. There we go. That's prop up here. I don't know. I don't want to guess. Probably a couple more loops to go before we finish this. Ding dong, ding dong, hush. I'm guessing we're going to run a little long tonight since uh, adults can't go to bed until kids are asleep. And or in bed. This will be done in two. Uh, maybe three. I missed a bit. That's okay. There's two bits. That's not okay. Okay, I'm taking this back to the yard. I'll come back with the baler. It's okay, the baler's not very fast because you have to keep stopping to unload it. So, uh, this is a bouncy uh, lane. Oh, and don't forget the uh, barrier at the bottom. There's a signpost. What does it say? Somewhere. Ooh, he's coming up a bit fast behind me. And I think my turning should be... Oh no, a bit further. That's the main road past the horse stable. the horse riding sign, there we go. Very, 
fairly bouncy. Okay, I'll leave this out for now. Just in case we have a problem with the number of bales we produce. And we will go and find the baler. And since the big gate's open, we'll go in that. going to need a service. Now I did hear that the case IH square baler that was just introduced has a rebadged New Holland baler and it still has a couple of New Holland badges on it. Not that I do much with case. I tend if I if I play an American farm I'll tend to use case because I don't use it on many European farms that I play. I think they have a presence in Europe, it's just not one I'm intimately aware of. Oh, okay, go, go, oh, gee, go. Before the truck, yay. guy who runs the fields close to where we live, he has an old, a very old class uh, round baler. And a John Deere tractor. Well, I think everybody around here has a John Deere tractor. Except the guy who does the uh, mowing of the grass verges, he seems to drive around in some New Holland the only one I've seen in this area. For the most part anything that's not a John Deere is usually a very old Massey Fer uh, a very, yeah, very old Massey Ferguson. Okay, I'm back. Okay. I'm going to have to turn my lights on so I can see where you're grass is. 